What is up guys, Sleepy Estering here, and today we are opening up a team up uh, build and battle kit. Uh, finally got my hands on one, these are not easy to get in Japan. Uh, sorry, no, wait, what? In Japan. No, I don't live in Japan. Why the fuck am I thinking of Japan? Uh, I just woke up, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, build and battle kit. Uh, let's open it. I, yeah, I'm craving to open something. I loved, I love this team up stuff. This has been good. Um, uh, my room is a fucking mess right now because I still haven't cleaned up from the booster box opening. And I've been trying to do, uh, the whole open things up on camera for you guys. Properly on camera, like, you guys get to see the everything getting opened and all of that. Now, let's see. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Hell yeah, we got the Charizard kit. That is, uh, really good to get. Wait, is that five packs? What? Four packs, never mind. Okay, I was, I was about to say this was like the most busted kit ever. All right, we got the Charizard kit. Uh, that is like $50 back right there. That is grouse. Uh, I'm okay with that. More than okay with that. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever opened up one of these kits. If you haven't, uh, I guess I'll just show you what's inside. So there's a little box and then you have five, sorry, four booster packs. Once I've gotten five, uh, the video never went up because the, uh, the quality was really fucky. Um, I don't know why. Oh no, the sound was broken. Uh, what you'll do is you'll get this little poster thingy that tells you how to build your deck at a pre-release kit. Sorry, uh, out of a pre-release kit at a pre-release. Um, uh, which is, you know, pretty, pretty handy to have if you haven't really played before. If you're going to a pre-release for the first time and you don't really know how to play. Uh, but anyway, I'll put that box there. I've got a big pile of those boxes. I like to store... Uh, bulk and all sorts of other cool things in there. I'll just leave that business card there because Next Level Games did, uh, you know, supply this to me. Uh, Charizard, I'm going to sell that almost instantly because I need the money at the moment. Alrighty, let's let's crack some packs. Uh, which are we going to go for first? Um, I think we'll do the Gengar one. All right. Uh, I'm going back to the old regular way of opening packs guys because it is just awkward for me to um, Open everything on screen. We have a group one sorry a green white sorry a green code card I'll leave the booster packs there for you but just know that I'm not going off camera You know checking what's in the pack and then like ripping the shit out of it and putting good things in because if this is all duds You just know that I haven't you know deliberately tried to fuck this over um but it's just awkward for me because I'm in such a small space to then... I mean, if you guys have met me in real life, which I know some of you have by now because I'll be I'll be going to the uh, Oceanic, Oceanic International Championships, uh, which is literally like next weekend from now. Uh, if you guys have met me, and for those who have met me, you know that I'm pretty tall. I'm pretty, you know, I'm a thick boy. Um, and we got a Blastoise. Alrighty, not bad. Uh, I'll put the Blastoise there and the Reverse Holo there. Um, actually, no, I'll put the, the Blastoise over here. Do I want the Blast? I don't think the Blastoise is really playable, is it, guys? I don't think it's playable. All right, I'm going to put it in the bulk pile. I like to keep the Reverses away from the bulk because uh, I end up normally sorting the bulk into the Reverse Holos. <laughs> and Reverse Holos are actually... Oh, we got a White Coat card. Uh, that's good. That's always a good sign. Uh, what have we got here? Alright, we have a GX. I could feel it. Um, alrighty. You can normally feel, like, the front of a card when you're, like, doing the pack trick. You can feel, like, because it'll be textured or it'll be glossy or whatever. But anyway, let's see what we got here. We got a Psyduck. We have a Pawniard. A Alolan. <laughs> Look at this dude. Uh, a Mankey. Spanky my Mankey. Uh, a Pancham. I love these doe Pokemon, like the, like the little Play-Doh ones, he's a small boy. We have a War Turtle, a Tauros, a Persian. I do like this make and pay uh, attack. The only thing that's wrong with it is that it's an actual attack and not an ability. I'd love this for an ability, yeah, like as you evolve it. Fairy Charm UB and an Eevee and Snorlax uh, tag team right there. That is pretty good. Uh, it's not bad. Um, 
looks like. He's like about to fucking burst and the EV is like running away. It reminds me of like the scene from like the Lion King where they're all running through like the fucking canyon. That's what this is, except he's like about to like explode. Like they're watching his body like expand before he's going to explode all over the camera. Uh, I'll get a sleeve for that. That just, that just kept going off on a tangent. Uh, Dio, I am coming at you right now, dude. Hold this for me. Thank y'all. Alrighty, next pack, what do we got? Hopefully we have something good. Uh, I feel a lot more energetic when I... En energetic? Energetic. I can't talk. Energetic. I don't know why, uh, since I only just woke up. I had some re Do you ever have just really weird dreams while you're asleep? Um, yeah, that, that happened to me. Uh, I don't know what it was. First, it was like Age of Empires, but with like fucking demons everywhere. Uh, and that was cool. I had like a demon village and they, they fucking all died. I don't know what caused them to die. Um, and then I had some really weird, like, oh yeah, this was the weirdest. And then, uh, someone walked in while I was asleep and it woke me up. Uh, like the whole world went into like a collapse. I don't, it wasn't like, think Fallout, except it wasn't like a nuclear war. Uh, the whole world just went into a collapse. I think the government shut down and stuff. Wow, that's like an actual thing that's going on right now. Except I'm not in the States, I'm fucking Australian. So that's good. Uh, um, yeah, like everything went into a collapse. Then it was a worldwide like martial law thing. Uh, if you don't know what that is, go ask your parents. Um, uh, actually don't, um, but yeah, anyway, so like the whole world went black, like everything just went blackened out, uh, all the lights were off, like, it, it, it physically, like, think the opening shot of the new Avengers trailer, it was like that, except, uh, everyone was like, oh, well, this is just our life now, and everyone just, like, kind of got over it, and, like, a bunch of us were like, like, rum, like, rolling around in mud and stuff, and then all of a sudden, Taboo from fucking... What's his name? Taboo, is it Taboo? From Smash Brothers was in the sky. And it was such a weird dream, and it actually, like, caused me to wake up, because, like, I'd freaked myself awake. I don't know what happened. Like, there was a heap of, like, moving stars and shit in the sky, and everyone was like, oh, wow, it's a UFO. And then it wasn't. It was a blue, blue dude. It was a blue dude in the sky. Um, enough of me rambling about my fucked mind and what goes on inside of it. Let's check out this Evian Snorlax. Uh, this is a nice card, actually. Um, you know, the, I, I'm sorry. I'm so tired, but, like, I feel energetic. I don't know why. But, I, yeah, I just, I wanted to check this out properly. Cheer up. Attach an energy card from one of your, what? Attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So you just grab DCEs and chuck them straight on this big thook boy. Um, dump truck press, 120 damage with 4 energy. That's pretty costly. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this attack does 120 more damage. So you're hitting like 240 on everything that evolves. So that's pretty fucking relevant. Uh, considering Gardevoir is like, what, 230, 240? Yeah, that's really good. Megaton Friends, 210. If this Pokemon has at least one extra damage uh, energy attached to it, uh, including the attack cost, draw cards until you have 10. Eh, it's alright. I can see people running this in a stall deck, like with the um, uh, Magikarp and Waylord. But this is pretty cool. I'm happy with this. I'm going to put it straight into the pile of things for me to sell. Because I need money. And if I don't have money, I'm going to go fucking homeless. But anyway, uh, at least I didn't pay for this kit. I had someone else pay for it. Uh, because I gave my people, like, crap. Anyway, I never actually got to record that box of crap. But it was a cool box of crap. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.